What's up everyone? Welcome back to the show. Nandito tayo ngayon sa election day here in the office. Pero currently, we're doing two stuff. We're doing remote fitting for our auditory brainstem implant in Vietnam. And of course, we're doing our marketing stuff na i-discuss ko sa inyo later on. But for the meantime, uy! So, yun na nga, napunasan na natin yung ating wawa. Ang ating mga toothpaste residue. Buti na lang naka-mask ako today. So, for this episode, isi-share ko sa inyo what about or anything about auditory brain stem implant. So, paano natin ginagawa yung remote uh, what do you call this? Remote mapping or teleaudiology uh, first of all we need to sign in to our team viewer okay once we sign in choose remote control team viewer at ang gagawin ko naman is I'm gonna contact our guy to send in his partner ID Hello? Min? Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. Send via Grab, the adobo. <laughs> Hindi, loko lang. May message ko na siya para isend sa atin yung ano, partner ID. So, ano nga ba ang auditory brainstem implant? Okay. Auditory brainstem implant, siguro ito yung highest form uh, prosthesis wherein let's say for example cochlear implant is not helpful or during planning uh, alam naman natin na parang oh this is beyond the almost in the retro cochlear region already then we'll settle for auditory brainstem implant so yun na nga binigay na sa atin yung ating uh, access code kontakin na natin ngayon ng ating partner sa Vietnam para mag troubleshoot at tatanungin ko na rin kung willing ba siyang mag pakita yung video para sa kanilang mga kliyente okay, brief history ng remote troubleshooting or remote fitting we have been doing this for the last two years I think dahil nga um, medyo malayo tapos kailangan ng ABI support uh, kaya namin to ginagawa hello bro how are you okay I'm good how are you doing good doing good doing good yeah are you excited for my webinar later um you're still setting up right um, uh, yeah. is in the group are uh, you gonna send me through the WhatsApp message uh, all right all right so we'll just we'll just use the video from from your phone isn't it Got it. Okay, Perfect. okay. Um, there he is. Do you have the... What do you call this? Do you have the... Uh, what do you call this? Oh, she's already saying... Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Do you have this aided test, bro? Yes, here. May I see? Uh, turn it to the left. A little bit on the left. Yeah. It's a good reliability. Oh, good, good, good. So, as you can see, we are already in the speech range. We just need to fine-tune the high frequencies. Is it at uh, what level, bro? Is it 40 or 50? 40. Okay. 40, yeah. All right. So, uh, we'll try to push it. Push the low frequency up first. Uh, okay. Okay. And then, uh, the rest will be should be okay. We'll try to catch up first the high uh, low frequency based on the aided test. Okay, I'll I'll, I'll just I'll adjust it now. Yeah. All right. Maybe just view your screen while I'm doing the. Oh, you already did the telemetry, isn't it? Yes. All right. Good job. So currently the patient is in program number four. We need to... So we. Ch oh. Ah, okay. This is Rondo too. Alright. So, how's the parent? How are they? 
are they doing? Oh, How's the parent doing? How's the uh, patient doing? Patient, the, yes. Uh, therapy? Yeah. Uh, he's doing um, just only link sounds detection so far. Uh, the, the teacher is testing him at uh, one meter distance, but his uh, attention span time is uh, limited. Uh, Alright, but the aided test is okay, right? Mm, yeah. Alright. Okay, okay, sure. So what I'll try to do, bro, is since we have the result already, I'll just adjust in the low frequency. Okay, because it's a little bit offset, then uh, I'll also adjust more of the high frequency. Uh, I'll turn off the video already because uh, I think it should be... Uh, the adjustment that we will do is not that big. So, alright? Okay, I'm going to turn off. Alright, thank you. Uh, okay. So, sinanda na sa atin yung uh, kanyang audiogram. So, maganda naman yung outcome, about 40 dB. Pero meron tayong outlier na 250 Hz and 8000 Hz. So, si-share ko lang yung screen. As you can see in the screen, uh, hindi siya katulad ng cochlear implant. Medyo atypical siya. The reason of which is kasi nasa brain yung ating electrode. So, now we will adjust our frequencies okay adjust accordingly wait for that uh, wait for that uh, wala tayong tripod okay ito na one uh, so sabi sa ating audiogram is a the test uh, is is two so kung makikita nyo yung adjustment natin maliit lang Okay. Uh, hindi ganun kalaki dahil uh, remember guys we're dealing here with the brain so we need to be careful about it you know meron din kasing mga non-auditory uh, stuff na nangyayari tulad ng uh, palpitation yung mga twitching ng ibang parts ng body and also coughing okay So, once we have done it, so yung ginawa ko. We'll just input everything in the maps. So, in-input na natin. And then, usually, what I do with mapping is I also uh, cross-check kung uh, usable ba itong mga maps na to by calling again our colleague and do a live video conference. Okay. Hello, bro. Uh, I'll just gonna verify. Uh, I'll turn on. Switch on. Uh, you want to uh, look at him? Uh... Oh, yes. Uh, I'll turn on the map number one and map number four. Okay. So I'll switch on map number. Wait for a while. Uh, I'm just gonna put my phone to to. Okay. okay. Switch on map number one. Now it's on. Yeah. Do you have a low frequency uh, sounds there that you could check? Um, we, we don't have at the moment. No. Okay, just make a noise, please. Uh, I'm sorry. You want to try a link six link or you want to Or just make a no just make a noise just to check whether there's a non auditory stimulation. Got it. I'm gonna go behind you and I'm gonna clap really loud. Good job. All right. Good, good. That's good. I'll shift I'll shift the program to program number 4 just to verify whether it's acceptable for him. Okay, program number 4 activated. Thank you. 
Should be okay, bro. Should be okay. No coughing, right? He didn't cough. So far, no. No. All right. That's all, bro. Thanks. Thanks. Okay. All right. For the masinsina na usap, so uh, in the olden times, I think I believe in the 1990s or 19 or early 2000, um, ABI uh, is only indicated for patients who have uh, neurofibromatosis type 2, wherein two of the ears or in the nerves have tumors. Okay, mayroong ganong mga cases. So in 2017. Uh, the criterion for auditory brain stem implant was expanded. Okay, it was expanded to uh, children who have uh, atresia or internal auditory canal atresia or uh, atresia, and then uh, hypoplastic nerves or the nerve is not present, malformed cochlea, ossified cochlea. And those things na parang hindi matitreat ng cochlear implant. Okay? Like, yeah, malformation, common cavity, yung mga yon. So, uh, history ng Medel ABI program is in 2017, almost the same day. Uh, one of the key surgeons here asked from support from uh, the other company but unfortunately it's not yet available so for us we took the we grasped the opportunity by starting the program okay how do we do it is we at first we it's, it's a funny story because somehow um, we contacted uh, South Korea but everything went messy uh, because of some you know cultural cultural stuff wherein South Korea lead doctor, a neurosurgeon, uh, cannot, uh, what do you call this? Cannot go down to the ENT level. Okay, so it's some sort of like a hierarchy, uh, cultural thing for Koreans. Na, pati sa part ng body ganun din. Kung ikaw ear ka, pero you're a neurosurgeon. Neurosurgeon will supersede or uh, has a higher uh, higher post than the ENT surgeon. So, ganun yung nangyari. So, yun na nga yung nangyari. So, 2017, hindi... Oh, sorry, 2016 pala. 2016, it didn't happen. So, we waited for another few more months. And then, the scenario was, uh, dahil nga parang we already committed to the surgeon. So on our side, it's like we'll we will make it happen. So how how did we make it happen? So nagkaroon ng chance na nagkaroon ng ABI observership sa ibang bansa, and we flew the whole team along uh, the ENT, the geologist, and also the surgeon. Okay, so we flew we fly into Barcelona. And then the funny thing is, for for Spain, uh, meron silang parang they're like Filipinos. It's some sort of like whenever they say something, it's like auto translate for us, because probably it's almost a similar you know similar context, like uh, like uh, Buenos Dias, Buenos Gracias. Uh, it's some some somehow familiar to us. Okay, so the scenario was, we fly in I think Wednesday. And then we thought that the surgery is Thursday. So Thursday, uh, uh, Wednesday night, okay, Wednesday night, uh, we drink, we eat, and then we get into the discussion with the the team there. And then we, we ask them, hey, uh, so for tomorrow, uh, what time is the ABI surgery starts? ABI surgery? No, tomorrow is just cochlear implant surgery. So, cochlear implant surgery, another says like, what? So, it, there's a misinformation already. Or we were uh, not misinformed, but miscommunicated. So, after that one, of course, uh, 
the surgeons have also their plans they're just plan planning to planning to just stay there for a few days so we extended it okay so what happened was uh, we extended for one more day because the surgery is on Friday now Friday um, this is what happened Friday during the surgery so we're early about 6 a.m. already go in there and then of course uh, we we observe the surgery
The, the delegates that we sent in were happy. So afterwards, we, even though there is still suturing the implant, we decided to go back because our flight is Friday afternoon. So Friday afternoon, uh, in the airport in Barcelona, uh, we noticed that we are like being shift from one bay to another. So from bay one, bay two, bay three. Until in bay three, it's quite funny because bay three, we also saw the surgeon there. So when I was like, what? What's happening? It's like, uh, there will be flight delay. So true enough, from Barcelona, we arrived in uh, Frankfurt. Okay, Frankfurt. Because there's only one ta uh, one hour difference for for the plane to fly out to Singapore. Uh, we rush, we run, everyone ran. Okay, of course on my side as the representative for the company, we were uh, trapped in the middle because one of the delegate was uh, also not that uh, sporty. He was left behind. So after saying that. Uh, the two surgeons went in very fast, but unfortunately we miss we still missed the flight. So end up because we we missed the flight, uh, Singapore Airlines uh, also helped us to uh, get our accommodation for the next uh, for the next flight. Okay, so that's the backstory for that one. Then ever since we are we have been doing uh, two ABIs per per year, okay, which is a good uh, sign. And also, especially we are also reaching out to other countries uh, like like Vietnam for this kind of surgeries. So that's all for today's vlog. I hope you learned something new today. This is Sir Eros again. We will make the hearing impaired able. Hearing disabled, able. How do we do it? By implanting them ABI. Of course, for those who are within indication. See you soon. Bye.